Love here with my first project for Lavinia World and I'm so excited to be a part of the team. And so for my first project, I actually altered a tote bag, which is just super cute. Um, and I altered it using a, a fabric patch. And I'm gonna show you how to make the fabric patch uh, using Lavinia products. And the, the fabric patch is great because you can make uh, bookmarks, you could put it on the cover of a journal. There's just um, endless possibilities. I just decided to use mine on a tote bag. And I use this amazing Lavinia stamp called Indian Flourish. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love, love, love it. And then you'll need, um, I use muslin mostly when I do my fabric crafting. And so you just cut a piece of uh, muslin the size of the stamp you're using. And I also backed it with a piece of felt. And then I used um, some Distress Ink in worn lipstick, a couple of shimmer mists and then I also used the cosmic shimmer um, specialist acrylic glue that's available at Lavinia world and that's what I adhered on my crystals with so you'll just want also some crystals to embellish with so I'm excited to show you how to make this and please leave me a comment and let me know what you think Okay, so I have my muslin on top of a paper towel and on top of some newspapers and I'm just going to go ahead and start spraying it with my shimmer sprays and I like to use these shimmer sprays because they're a very muted color and they're full of shimmer and I like all of my things to be shimmery so I love them. Now I am also going to spray it over with some water to kind of further mute that color down a little bit and let them kind of run together because that is the look that I am going for with this and I am going to use my heat tool to dry the fabric and you want to be careful when you're using your heat tool on fabric if you leave it in one spot for too long it can burn the fabric so as long as you keep it moving you really shouldn't have a problem it works great I do however like to um, you know once I've got it a little bit dried on the front I flip it over and I kind of let it soak into that paper towel a little bit and then dry it from behind and so I'm going to apologize in advance because I got a little aggressive when I was patting it down into the paper towel and it kind of shakes the whole table. Here we go. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Making a note about that for next time. So I dry it from behind for a little bit and then I'll flip it over and finish drying it off with my heat tool and then it's ready to stamp. Okay, so um, I'm trying to show you that there is shimmer on that fabric, but the camera, of course, isn't picking it off. But trust me, it's shimmery and beautiful. And I am using an actual cutting board to stamp on because I have warped my craft table. Just, it's terrible. So if I want a nice clean stamp, I really have to use the cutting board. Now, when you're using these beautiful stamps with this fine detail on fabric, you really want to make sure that you get your stamp loaded with fabric. It needs to be very wet and very covered in ink so that you can pick up all the fine detail. So that's what I'm doing here is I am making sure that my Lavinia stamp is loaded with that ink. All right, and now I'm going to just press it right on down into the uh, muslin, but you're going to want to give it a nice press. You want to press all around so that every detail soaks into that fabric. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that it's all good and pressed down. I just love this stamp so much. And look, what a beautiful image. And now I am just going to heat set it with my heat tool. It's just gorgeous. All right, so I went ahead and took it to my sewing machine. I added the felt behind it, and then I did a zigzag stitch around the image. But I left some fabric on the edges just so that I could fray them because I love things to be shabby. So I left that on purpose just so I could shabby it up. And of course, you don't have to use a sewing machine at all. You can just glue that felt on the back if you want to use the felt and then just pull at the edges and shabby them up. No problem. So now we're ready to glue on the crystals. I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer glue. And I love the way this works for this fine detail. So I start, I do it in sections. I like to start at the top. I just add a littlest bit of glue and then I add the crystals on top of that. I don't have a fancy um, little tool for that. I just use my fingers, but it works great. 
and this dries clear and you can't even rub the crystals off. It's great glue for um, gluing these crystals onto this fabric. It works it works so well. And like I said, this you know patch, you can use it um, for bookmarks. You can make fabric tags. I mean, you could do so many things with this. So I hope that you enjoyed my first project. I absolutely love the way it turned out. So make sure that you give uh, this video a thumbs up and please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I will be back soon with another Lavinia tutorial. Thanks everybody.